Yo, what's up guys, it's Mac back with a, another unboxing and review. Today we have the PCS Evil Review Exclusive Murderous Intent. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what we got. of the statue then you have some explanation of evil ryu down here you guys can see that in the pictures pause that and read that if you like so the art box is pretty good it just looks like the statue really so not really art but you know it's all right so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get on to the next part styrofoam shipper that keeps the statue nice and protected. We don't have straps on this one. I believe the PCS Cami, last time we had that, I think it had straps on it. So I don't know what the difference is between this and that one. Maybe it's because they have more parts, but you know, it's normal, my action. So we got an easy piece to assemble today. We have our gloves that PCS sends us. This is the uh, charger pack for the light up features in his chest and I think his eyes. We have uh, the base. Pretty standard. Evil Ryu 1 4 scale, 72 out of 325. Pretty basic, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything laid out. Okay, so I got everything laid out and we have our, our body and our two head sculpts and our AC plug adapter on the base uh, where his foot goes. We got the peg and we got the AC outlet or inlet. And then on the back, you have where the power plugs uh, connects to, and then this is to, of course, cycle it on and off. So, the first things, we have the peg, and then we have the uh, part where it plugs in. All right, so, he's planted. Not going anywhere, nice and solid. Either of the two head sculpts. You have the one with the enraged, like, ah, face, and then you have just the err face. <laughs> so we'll go with the crazy looking open mouth. It's my favorite. A little bit of expression. And uh, yeah. Very, very easy unboxing in, uh, so far. You have a body and a head. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and switch this out. There's the, I think this, if you don't get the exclusive, this is what it comes with. Not bad. Either way, you can't go wrong. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look, see what's going on here see what I like, what I don't like, and come back with a review for you guys. All right guys, um, review time on this uh, piece. I want to say first thing is that I noticed is that all of the production photos that I saw of this piece, this rip portion of the gi was actually on this side. As you can see also in the uh, picture on the box, 
that it's on the other side. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with this. Uh, I haven't really seen any other pictures or unboxings of this to see if anybody else is, is the same, but I just wanted to note that. That's kind of one of the things that kind of just uh, got me by surprise. So um, let's go into this. So the base is of course our standard black PCS base. And then you have um, his uh, feet down at the bottom, which are done very well. You've got the uh, little toenails and little cuticles on them. Uh, which are look lifelike. Um, the only other thing too that I did want to you know, uh, say is that they give you like maybe a three and a half foot uh, cord to go with this plug-in, which is to me it's uh, kind of short. But you know, hopefully if you're displaying this, you have somewhere to put it that uh, it has a accessory uh, jack somewhere close by or plug-in. But uh, the foot and the leg details, I know that. It's supposed to, I mean, I don't know how everybody else is gonna pose theirs, but I think I may have find, find a way to have his leg up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the detail going on in his legs and his calves, because that's done very nice. Um, I think there, no, there's not a seam up here, so. Yeah, so you could do that and uh, change it up a little bit and make it look a little bit different. Same on this side. The gi is done very well, it's ripped and tattered. Um, going upwards, you have uh, his, uh, his belt with a little uh, writing on there, or insignia. It's torn up here, like I said, on this side. It would have connected, but they have it torn off on this side, which, you know, I think it looks okay. Um, the chest, you have his uh, damaged part, which this does light up, and it lights up very well, which I'll show you guys here in a minute go along on the back it also lights up as well so I'll show you guys that too um, details as far as like skin texturing color looks very good they have like this little vein detail here musculature is, was done well the uh, little gloves here have some damage and they're ripped up and torn looks pretty good same uh, detail and um, looks good on the the hands, the fingernails have a little gloss to them. You can see the cuticles there too. Vein work on this side. And then you have up to the head sculpt, you have uh, his teeth, which are done pretty well. And his eyes, the eyes do light up. And then his hair is going upwards. Looks pretty good, nothing's broke. And you have this little bandana here, which I'll throw off to the side, but you know, I'll go ahead and light up this one, this pose. So you guys can check that out. It would be kind of cool if the chest had like a kind of pulsing effect, but it's not, it's not horrible. And then you have that on his back, which is lit up very nice as well. Sorry, I can't move it around the other way because I have the cord. So I'll go ahead and switch out the other head sculpt here. So this is the uh, murderous intent exclusive with the open mouth. You can see his fangs there. I've always been a big fan of Evil Ryu, probably my favorite character. I always go for the the bad versions of characters. Just my style. Just lets the rage go. There's a pretty pretty good seam on the sides here, of course. I mean, really, if you're going to be displaying this piece, probably in a frontwards position, so I mean, you're not going to see it. Uh, too much, but you know it is there, but you know, it's not really much that you can do to hide that, but it's not bad So my overall Impressions of this piece is it's done very nice. The paint is, uh, is done. Well, the uh, rips or tattered gi looks very good like I said the only difference is the uh, torn part on this side on the box I think it looks better with with it on his uh, other show shoulder, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know if that's 
the way that they decided to do that with uh, the end of the um, production line, they decided to change it because something changed. But you know, for a one fourth scale, uh, Evil Ryu, if you don't have space for the one third, uh, which I have, which I'll throw a link in the description somewhere up in there so you can check that out. But this uh, piece is done very nice. Um, I think the main attraction and you know, one of the best things about it is the light up features with the eyes and then in his chest and then uh, his back. I think that's done, you know, very, very well. I know I talked about the head sculpts are basically the same. It's just that the one has the mouth open and uh, the other one is the closed, the closed mouth. But they're basically the same. Hair is basically the same. It's just that his mouth is open. The overall statue sculpture is very nice. You have very nice vein detail. You have very nice uh, you know, skin pigment, which I'll get in the picture, so stay tuned for that. Um, the detail on, on the gloves is you know, very good, very good with the tears. The tearing on the, the gi, writing on the, the belt is done you know, very well. So um, I like this piece. If you guys are uh, getting this piece, hopefully you'll like it too. Um, I believe it's waitlisted on Sideshow. I pre-ordered this back when it was on uh, PCS's website before Sideshow uh, took over their distribution. So if you're getting this, you know, I think you'll like it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video out. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Stay tuned for the pictures. Like I said before, I'll get up close and personal with, with this guy. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
まだ血が足りんのに